Hi, my name is Sandy Rodriguez, and like many of you, uh, I got my traumatic brain injury from a car accident. Mine was back in 1995, so I've been at this for a while. Um, I was T-boned, turning left. I've seen some of the videos here, have many of people have been turned left and T-boned. Um, I was then taken to the nearest hospital. Um, I'm, I live in Ypsilanti, Michigan. At the time, I was living in Garden City, Michigan. So I was whisked off to Annapolis Hospital and then taken to U of M, University of Michigan. I stayed there for seven weeks. Um, I was paralyzed on the entire right side of my body. Uh, traumatic brain injury, every lobe of my brain was damaged. I was a uh, fractured spine, bilateral fracture of the pelvis. I've had a life of physical therapy. I've had some occupational therapy. I had every therapy for uh, a year or so. Very intense. So then I realized what was this, this, I didn't realize this until several weeks after I got home from the hospital and I was in outgo, outpatient rehab was how bad my amnesia was or is. Um, I have, I had near total retrograde amnesia. So when I woke up, I knew almost nothing, but because my family and my friends were there, my mom would say to everyone, um, when you come in, even though, even when Sandy's still in, in a coma, say who you are, tell her the date, tell her where we are and why. So that might have creeped in to where it wasn't like, what's a hospital? But I was so focused to get out of the hospital that that's all I could think of. Not realize that when I got home and didn't recognize a picture of myself from my past, that that's how bad the amnesia was. Yeah, that was real eye opener. When I looked at my senior picture and for two and a half minutes, couldn't figure out who she was. <laughs> so, um, uh, I've had many wins. I've uh, gone back to college. I got my, uh, my, I was one semester away from my uh, associate's degree. Uh, when I got in the accident, I went back for that. I then moved on to go to Eastern Michigan University after Henry Ford Community College. I went to school for journalism and behavior science, and there's a long story behind that. <laughs> um, I had, now I think, and my mom says, well, I'm not really sure because you never really s decided on it. I think I was in the want of going to uh, either form a dance company or become a dancer and a choreographer for a dance company, work my way to Broadway, all my da dance talent and musical theater talent, everything was gone. So that was a hard destroyer. But the place where I used to dance, my good friend and dance teacher, uh, Diane Mancinelli said, you want to continue to choreograph? I said, sure. So I did, and um, the one thing that was a huge, huge win was uh, Henry Ford Community College had one act play festival where they choose two one acts from people who uh, enter and then they perform them and they you know decide if the person wants to direct it as well. Well, I did that twice. I wrote submitted. They both got chosen at different times. And the first one that got chosen was I wrote it based on my hospital stay. I don't know why I didn't use real names or the real people, but I wrote it based on my story. And when I submitted it, the head of the theater said, who was also a friend of mine, he was at the hospital a lot. He said, oh, Sandy, I picked your show. You got to direct it though. <laughs> so I said, all right, George, how do I do that? I forgot everything we did before. So as a result of that, 
Um, I contacted every newspaper I could within the surrounding area to do maybe a one, you know, a little paragraph, say, okay, here's a nutshell of the, of the story behind it. Um, you know, here's the show, come see it. Six newspapers picked it up and they put it on their weekend, which is bigger feature stories. Say, okay, this is going on next weekend or in two weeks. Well, the Detroit Free Press decided um, there's a bigger story here than just the show. So they did a six day week long uh, article on me and my journey. So for a year, it was the journalist interviewing me, my ex-boyfriend, my, uh, you know, my family and stuff like that. And then a photojournalist would come to certain things to photograph it. Uh, that article is no longer online, but I have it in its, you know, original paper. So I can go to a printing place, get it scanned and upload it to the website I'm making for the musical about my story that I'm doing. And it's about my story. So it's, it's all real. It's all Sandy this and Karen this and <laughs> ex-boyfriend <laughs> this. Um, so it's, uh, it's a full length musical and uh, I found the right composer and the right web designer as much as I had trouble for four years dealing with people messing around with me and not, you know, I said, you know, I'm going to look at this like the universe telling me, don't you dare work with that person, even though they have a great resume, the right composer, you haven't met her yet. And <laughs> so, uh, I had, and, uh, now I'm starting to look at where can I pitch this, even though it's not done. But when the website's done, it'll be easier for me to pitch the show. Say, here, you want to read the script? This, the, uh, here's the website all about it. And this is a big win to show people who will see it at whatever stage what it's like to live with traumatic brain injury. And how do you start a life over at 24 when you have no frame of reference? So I did a lot, I did a lot of research for years about, okay, movies, what movies are out there. There's not a lot of shows out there theater wise who cover brain injury and amnesia and do it correctly or do it, um, in a respectful way. I've done that. And I really show you it's, I'm just so excited because this is going to be a show like nobody's ever seen. So, ah, oh, there we go. There's that. And I do some other writing. I write poetry. I do kids books, but, uh, yeah, that's the big win so far. <laughs> <laughs>